People think about punishment in terms of incarceration, but let me tell you, when you go to criminal court and you see what the experience of sitting through a day in criminal court is like for my clients, you see that that's punishment in and of itself. That process encourages people to plead guilty just to get the process to stop. My name's Scott Heckinger. I'm a public defender in Brooklyn. In one of my first days on the job, I went back to meet my client. Back behind uh, the courtroom, back behind where the judge sits, is a jail cell, or jail cells, and there's interview rooms. And that's where you meet your clients for the first time, you inform them about what they're charged with, and you go see a judge where the judge determines whether to set bail or release the client. So I introduced myself, and I told him about what uh, he was charged with, and I went through the facts, and then I asked him for uh, his story. And he told me a very complicated story, far more complicated than what was on the criminal court complaint. He told me about a terrible, terrible search. He'd gotten off the subway, actually on his way to a drug treatment program that he had voluntarily enrolled himself in. And a police officer approached him and uh, said, you smell like weed. And with that, pushed him up against the wall and rifled his hands through my client's jacket pocket and found a crack pipe. Um, he felt like this was an incredible injustice. He felt wronged. Um, he said he wanted to challenge it. And I was all for it. This is why I got into this job. I wanted to be there to, to, to be able to, to help him out. When he finished telling his story, I mentioned almost as an aside, well, just so you know, the prosecution's offering a plea to the charge and time served. And he said to me, he actually laughed. He said, why didn't you say that right off the bat? Why didn't, why do we waste all this time having this conversation about my life and my concerns and the, what I have going on and, and this search? I'm taking the deal. But if you plead guilty, you're not gonna be able to sue the officer for false arrest. You're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna allow me to, to cross-examine this officer. He said, look, if I go out there, you see my record. It was a lengthy record. The judge is gonna set bail. If you're telling me I can go home today, I don't care about pleading guilty. And that was it. I never saw him again. At any given time, I had between 60 and 100 cases, which is a lot. You know, it's something that I pride myself on, that when I go into court, I always can identify my clients. I know what they look like. I know their backgrounds. I know what's going on in their lives. It would be a lie to say, I'm giving each one of my clients the, the time and the representation that each one of them deserves. That said, I, I try my hardest and I do my best.